Psalm 23 is one of those psalms that we will no doubt be very familiar with. In fact, whether you're a Christian or not, Psalm 23 is kind of in our DNA in some ways, isn't it? We hear it read all the time. It's read often, if not always, at funerals. It's it's a psalm that has guided, um, taught, shaped, encouraged. It's a wonderful psalm, isn't it? But I wonder if for a moment we could let this psalm ask questions of us. Here's why I say that. The Lord is my shepherd. What's being described here is not an experience from the past of being shepherded, nor something that might happen in the future. No, there is something present about this. The Lord is my shepherd. Here is the Lord, our God, Jesus, present in this moment as our shepherd. And so I guess what this psalm invites us to do is ask the question, if that is the case, Jesus is present with us now shepherding us, what's he up to? What's he trying to do? What's on his agenda for us? You could argue that we could read Psalm 23 rather like a menu to a life being shepherded. And so as we walk our way through this, we're thinking, is that what he's up to? Ah, I need to let him. So all I'm going to do is walk you through this and point out some things, miss loads of stuff. And by the time we get to the end of Psalm 23, invite you to go to a place of resting in him and simply pray, Lord, shepherd me. I hope you're up for that. So let's give this a go. And as I said, I'm going to miss loads of stuff in here. So go back, have a read. You'll spot all sorts of things on this menu that I barely touch upon. But let's let's at least scratch the surface. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Maybe what your shepherd is trying to do with you at the moment is get you or help you or create for you a spacious place where you can rest because when he looks at you he sees that you need it he leads me beside still waters he restores my soul maybe when the shepherd looks at you what he sees is a soul that is a little bit parched a bit dry And really what he sees in you is that you need restoring, refreshing, renewing even. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. I'm sure this is true for most of us, if not all of us, that when the Lord looks at our lives, he sees wrong paths that we take, wrong thought patterns that dominate, sins that overtake us, that we don't always live the holy life that we're called to. And so maybe what the shepherd is up to is trying to mould and shape you to be more like him. Maybe he's trying to take you down a path that will lead you into a more, more holy life. Maybe he's trying to sanctify you a bit. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they come from me. Maybe the truth is that when the shepherd looks at your life, what he sees is somebody who's really fearful or somebody who's overwhelmed by grief or maybe somebody who's facing death or somebody who's walking through a very dark time maybe even a tempting time and and it's very confusing and it's very painful and it's very overwhelming and what the shepherd is trying to do is get you to trust him and therefore what that trust looks like is opening yourself up to his leadership maybe what the shepherd's asking you to do is let him lead you you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies maybe what the shepherd sees is that you've taken a bit of a kicking recently and actually therefore even though you see it feels like the attack isn't over and your enemies are still all around you what he wants to do is sit down and have food with you and enjoy your company and feed you you anoint my head with oil my cup overflows the the shepherds would anoint the head the head of a sheep to protect the nose and the ears from flies getting in. It was like an anointing of protection. Maybe what the shepherd wants to do for you is protect you because he's aware that you feel under pressure. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of of my life. Maybe, Maybe you're running at such a pace that actually the Lord just can't get hold of you. You're too busy and he's chasing you down with his hesed, which is like that sticky, never going to give up chasing you kind of love, and his goodness, maybe he's just running after you saying, stop, let me get hold of you. 
and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What the psalm invites us to do is go to that place of dwelling, abiding, resting in him with this menu in our hand, with the presence of the Lord there and it invites us to pray, Lord, shepherd me and to let him have his way. Read Psalm 23, let it question you and then pray. God bless.